So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to turn your device off. So hold the power button at the top here. Hold it down until you have the slide to power off option right there on the top. Slide to power it off. You're going to get the little spinny thing. Wait till that's done powering off completely and then continue on. And the next thing you want to do is to grab that USB cable that's plugged into your computer. Grab your device and hold the home button down on your device. So press hold the home button. Do not release the home button. And what you want to do is plug in the USB cable that's already connected to your computer and iTunes is open. Plug it right into your device. Keep on holding that down until you see on the screen, you'll get the little logo that says plug into iTunes. There it is. And you'll see on your actual computer itself, it says iPad has detected an iPad in recovery mode. You must restore this iPad before it can be used with this with iTunes. So there we go. So we know we're in recovery mode. So now on your computer, you want to go ahead and agree to that by pressing OK. And now you have the only option available to click is restore iPad. So we're going to go restore iPad. Now it's going to confirm that I want to erase all the contents. And if I'm locked out of my iPad, then obviously I do want to restore all the contents. There's no way of getting that back. Um, it's going to ask me to restore an update. So if I don't have the latest software on my actual iPad itself, it's going to ask me to update it to the latest software version. Now, if you don't have the latest software version already downloaded on your computer, it's going to automatically download that before it does the full restore. So it will take a little bit longer if you don't have the latest software on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and hit restore and update. And as you can see, it is telling me that I don't have the latest software on my actual computer itself. So I definitely, like I said, need to update my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and agree to that next. Agree to download and you'll see it's going to go downloading this software. So it's going to give me a certain amount of time. Now, obviously, if you have this software already, you're not going to have to do this step. You'll just be able to go to the actual restore step. So I'm going to let this download and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's just finished downloading the newest software update, which is 7.0.4. It's extracting that software update and preparing to restore my iPad. Obviously my iPad is still connected into my computer, so my it's just right beside me here. And once that's done, we'll get back. All right guys, once that's done, a note will pop up on your screen. It will tell you that your iPad is done its restore process. Um, that will disappear after a couple seconds and then you'll see on your iPad, it'll have the Apple logo and you'll see the little bar at the bottom here and that's gonna be starting up its process. Um, this process will take uh, probably another couple more minutes. Um, it does take first time startup, um, it'll probably tell you that it's done and then it'll take a look, go loading up again. So just wait till that process is done. And then once that process is done, you're pretty much done, you're complete. Um, um, you can essentially unplug your iPad. So there we go. So it's already done as we speak. So it's done that um, you can actually completely unplug your iPad now. And you'll see on my screen, activate new iPad if I want to, we're not going to. We'll just disable. And now you can just continue on that regular startup process, selecting your language and English and everything like that. And you're all done. That's it, guys.